Hello again, good morning, and welcome to the newspaper review on Quest Television. It's the weekend, I beg your pardon, the midweek, I should say, uh, midweek edition of the paper review. I, I guess I am really in a hurry to get to the weekend. It's the midweek uh, edition of uh, the program. Uh, my name is Alex Obunaya, and I'm going to be doing this all alone comrade Efe Odomo is unavoidably absent today and um, there are one two three four five four papers up for review uh, this morning we're going to be as quick as we can uh, we're going to start off with the daily trust the lead story on the on the front page of a daily trust is really not a pleasant one to savor um, despite federal government's clamp down Dollar hits a thousand nine hundred pounds, two thousand two hundred and fifty. That's the lead story on the front page of the Daily Trust. BDCs raided, operators arrested, trial and error not solution. That's according to an economist. Uh, partner us to address volatility, operators tell government, and Nasima wants dollar pegged at 850 naira. Uh, that's what you get on the front page of um, the Daily Trust. The full gist can be found on page four of the paper. Directly below the mass head of the Daily Trust, reps pass state police bill for second reading. Customs subsidizes, distributes, seize food items. Bandits kill seven, injure baby, raise property in Katsina. And um, still on the front page, Federal Government, National Assembly, probe Buhari's 22.7 trillion naira ways and means loan. That's uh, on page, let's see what page now. You can get that. Okay, that's on page 19 of the Daily Trust newspaper. And that's all from the Daily Trust newspaper. Let's quickly go straight to Punch newspaper. There's so many stories uh, on the front page of Punch newspaper, including this one. It rained heavily in Lagos, in some parts of Lagos yesterday, and um, everywhere was flooded. Uh, the pictures on the front page of... Um, Punch newspaper is a uh, really, really a pathetic one. Uh, the, the, the writer is uh, captioned, the, the, the pictures are captioned Motorists lament poor drainage as flood submerges Lagos roads from K2 to Ogba to Ikotu. It, it was really devastating. Well, uh, the lead story, however, on the front page of uh, Punch, sent it to pro Buhari government, a Mefile, over 30 trillion naira CBN loans. That's the lead story. Uh, above the masthead comes this one. State police, governors to appoint police commissioners, bill lists conditions for CP's sacking. CP can't be removed without PSC Assembly's approval. Oyebanji hails punch, solid journalistic excellence at 50. Oyebanji hails punch, solid journalistic excellence at 50. Okay, and still on the front page of the punch newspaper, federal government blames opposition for food crisis and covers 32 smuggling routes. Zookeeper killed while trying to rescue woman from lion. This is according to Nasu Chie. But that's not the story we got when this news broke. It said the man was feeding the lion. In fact, the lions were like babies to him because he was there when lions were born or given birth to some nine years ago. He was fond of the lions and lions too probably were fond of him. But this is a different story now. Zookeeper killed while trying to rescue woman from lion. Nasu Chia. The full gist is on page 42. Well, in the coming days we'll get the real gist. Federal government seeks $10 billion to stabilize exchange rates as Naira tumbles. You can get that on page 17 of the Punch newspaper. Up next is the Vanguard. 
The lead story on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, NECA, oil marketers to federal government, Sean Pride, review subsidy removal, flotation of Naira. That story is on page five. It comes with the riders, list anti-business policies of governments, worsening employment index, other causes of nation's economic woes. Peg forex rate at 750 Naira to a dollar, all marketers beg Tinubu. All of that you can get on page five of the Vanguard newspaper. Akaradulu, governors, ex governors, minister, pay last respects. That's on page 10. And below that one, 10 billionaire fraud, EFCC detains ex Quara governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed. That's on page 6. Economic hardship, saboteurs working against us. Shatima. Algeria Doms Pesero ops for Petkovic. That's on page that one. Algeria, that's uh, the Algeria national team. Pesero, the Super Eagles coach, was rumored to be eyeing the vacant Algeria national team position. But um, I think um, his contract has been renewed by the Nigeria Football Federation. So he will no longer be going to Algeria. Rather, he will remain with the Super Eagles. They did well in Cote d'Ivoire. So why change a winning coach, a good coach? Okay. Um, ASU rejects new IPIS, insist on FECS directive on removal of, vas on, of removal of varsities. ASU rejects new IPIS, insists on FECS directive on removal of varsities. That's on page 9. Tenebu directs payment of state house electricity debts. Details are on page 26. And above the masthead of um, Vanguard newspaper, a Doe 2024 APC SWC divided over Idahosa and um, Opeholo. Insecurity bill to establish state police skills second reading in House of Reps. Labor crisis, Labor Party crisis, state chairman denied plot to suspend OB back Abure. Federal government targets $10 billion to increase foreign exchange liquidity and to stabilize the Naira. That's according to President Obola Ahmed Tinubu. Okay, that's that from the Vanguard newspaper, the last paper up for review, um, the Nation newspaper. Shatima, we will battle forces bent on subverting country. We will battle forces bent on subverting country. That's the lead story on the front page of the nation newspaper truck owners resume patrol loading details are on page 28 three Edo apc aspirants petition nwc that's on page four i think it's a good one truck owners resume patrol loading let's hope that um, this will help calm uh, uh calm the situation because um, as i said yesterday we hear the the cost of petrol has risen in some places 800 in some places 1000 naira and of course this has also affected the price of uh, all the, 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 the transportation fares in you know across the country because of the hike in the price of petrol wow so once they resume loading maybe things will maybe go back to 640 or 600 naira that uh, we are used to South East PDP leaders reject Anyao as national secretary. The crisis in uh, PDP is still there. We thought we've heard the last of it. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Let's see how that unfolds. Ayeda Tiwa, Duke, fire me, Otudeko, others, honor Akere Dulu. House of Reps pushes on bills on, House of Reps pushes on with state police bill, lawmakers in hot debate. Lagos begins process to move computer village to Nibu Direct's payment of state house electricity bill. All of that you can get on the front page of um, the Nation newspaper. The movement on co of a computer village is on page 6. The electricity bill is on page 3. Wow, computer village used to be somewhere in Ikenja. Very, very popular place and always a beehive of activity in that part of Lagos. 60,000 MT of grains coming to bring down food prices, says Minister. You can read up that story on page 3. 
And um, finally, on the front page of um, the Nation newspaper, uh, CBN's 22.7 trillion Naira overdraft to go to government for probe. CBN's 22.7 trillion Naira overdraft to government for probe. So, with that, we conclude the review of the dailies. I, I think, um, okay. Oh, there, there is one more paper up for review this morning. Uh, I just saw that. Um, let's see if um, it is today's paper. It is actually the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. I don't know if we have that on the screen. The Nigerian Tribune newspaper is our final paper up for review. And the lead story, economic hardship forces hell bent on undermining Nigeria. That's according to the country's vice president, Kasim Shetima. Forces hell-bent on undermining Nigeria. Shetima says 32 routes for smuggling food items out of Nigeria uncovered. Federal government to raise 10 billion naira for increased liquidity, naira stability to release another 60,000 metric tons of grains. An executive order to float dollar-denominated securities in the offering. All of that you can find on page 5. Since May 29th, Nigeria moving from one trouble to another. This, according to Anglican Bishop, says Nigeria frustrated, hungry, angry, and hard to pacify. You can read up that story on page 10. Bill to establish state police passes a second reading at House of Reps. 151 houses flooded in Lagos rain. Wow. It was really heavy yesterday in Lagos. 151 houses flooded. Guinea's military junta dissolves government, seals borders. Block molders kick over federal government's producers' agreed price. Senate to probe 30 trillion naira ways and means under Buhari to examine 10 trillion naira intervention anchor borrowers program. You can read that story on page 6 of the Nigeria Tribune newspaper. Okay, and um, that is, okay, let's see, there's this picture on the front page of um, um, the Nigeria Tribune newspaper. It's an obituary, or rather a, a coughing, I think the funeral of former governor of the state. Um, what's his name again? Olu Arotimi Akeredolu is currently going on in, um, in, in Ondo State. I think it started on the 8th or 9th of this month. And then uh, he will be buried in the next couple of days, later this week. And um, the caption on the picture says the remains of the former governor of Ondo State, Arakmuri Uluwarotimi Akeredilu, during the commendation service in his honor at the All Saints Church, Jericho Ibado, on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, commendation service was held uh, yesterday, I guess, uh, in memory of um, the late former governor of Ondo State, Arakmuri, that's Mr. Uluwarotimi Akere Dulu. Oh dear, it's a sad one. May his soul uh, rest in peace. Well, uh, with that, we conclude the review of the dailies. I did say that um, I'm on alone here this morning. Um, Comrade Ife Odomo is unavoidably absent. Thanks for being part of the program. I am Alex Abunaya. Good morning.